guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. We are here with my February budget <laughs> setup and my son is <laughs> right there saying hello to everyone. Um, this is going to be a little bit different of a style because my son is not napping um, and I want to see if I'll be able to get a video with him being awake so you might hear him blubbering and talking to mama but hopefully he does not whine or you know get upset or anything so that we can get this video done. Um, so that it'll free up a little bit more of my time while he's napping, maybe I can work out. So, first things first, we will go ahead and look into January. I did, <laughs> he's sitting and talking to me. I did overdraft my account. Um, the first two weeks, I was not, like, I wasn't mad at my, like, I, w I was doing okay. Um, like, the, this, the first week, I literally spent generally everything with something I needed, <laughs> like Lowe's. I had to get the refrigerator filter, um, and then I had to get dog food. Okay, two of the things were necessities. The other three things were for my birthday. I got Chinese food. I ordered some books from Christian Books, and then I got Procreate so I could try to make some stickers because my husband bought me a Cricut. Um, this week honestly wasn't terrible except for I got a little carried away and I made another Christian books purchase. But other than that, it was groceries, um, Walgreens was stuff that I needed, I think. I think I got stuff for my son at Walgreens. Um, and then I got coffee a few times and we went out to eat. But this week wasn't bad either. And then we get to this week and... Oh, okay, no, this week wasn't terrible, but this was the decline of my mental health the third week of January, and so I made a Klarna purchase. I put right here, the day that I made that purchase, I am starting to spiral, um, and my mental health was getting really bad, and so here we are again. Um, the fourth week of January, I made a purchase on Amazon. I really hope my son will be chill. Um, and then here we are this week. I made a TCMC order, which I didn't put the cost. It was actually like 170, but this week I only had to pay 32 because I'm doing payments. So I need to put that right here. Actually, that was 32 56. Um, and then I got coffee today and we went to, we went to the grocery store today as well, but my husband paid, so I'm not tracking that on my stuff. And then I had to go to Aldi's on the 28th as well. But looking at all of this, oh, I haven't filled this out yet. Oh, I forgot that this is a thing that I fill out. Okay, so we will fill this out in just a second. I just realized I didn't do my totals over here either. So for essential <laughs> essential spending was $95.96. Um, me spending was $32.56 and then dining out was $21.41 and then it was zero for everything else and I need to grab my calculator. Okay, so I got my calculator so we got $95.96 plus $21.41 plus 32.56. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and total this even though it still has three more days in this week. It is the end of January. So the total is 149.93. And then I have to do all the totals. Okay, so. Um, for week one, it was two twenty three eighty four, two twenty three, two twenty three eighty four, two twenty three eighty four. Second week was three thirty one fifty five. Holy cannoli! Um, third week one eighty five eighty six. The fourth week was 124.41, and the fifth week is 149.93. Love to see it, right? Um, 
I still don't really know how to use this planner. I'm not gonna lie. Fixed expenses. Um, okay. It's a lot of flipping back and forth, which I'm, which I'm not really a fan of. Okay, 291876. 291876. Okay, and then I don't know what this is for. Total monthly spent. I really don't want to add this number up, guys. Holy cannoli. <laughs> And this doesn't even reflect how far off the rails I went because I did Klarna payments for everything. So we're really going to see the impact of my stupidity in February whenever I flip over to it. This is just the tip of the iceberg. And I don't need you guys to tell me how stupid my decisions are because I promise you I know. Um, but the fact that I know how stupid my decisions are does not mean that I stopped making them. <laughs> okay, so total month spent, goodness gracious, literally $3,934.35. Okay. So I didn't set a spending budget um, month. To I didn't set, I'm confused. Did I stick to my spending budget? I didn't set a spending budget. I'm confused right now. <laughs> um, this doesn't make sense. Hold on. Because I overdrafted my account this month, but this is less than I actually made. Oh, uh, my problem is, is I had Klarna payments that were already from November and December. Um, and I didn't calculate those into my spending. So, oh, uh, see, I'm a new, I'm not very good at, <laughs> um, I'm still learning how to budget here. And so what I was doing is I was only writing what I was actually spending. I wasn't writing down, um, the Klarna withdrawals. So that is my bad. Um, bank account. I don't know. Mine, <laughs> mine was the starting balance. Oh, this is a lot of flipping back and forth. I don't like this. The budget mom, we stayed on one page to do this stuff. Okay. Oh, that was my spending budget. Oh, that's awkward. Oh. Okay. Spending budget was sixteen twenty five ninety five. Sixteen twenty five ninety five. Okay, and the month total spent. It was actually more than this. So I'm just going to put a plus sign, 3,934 uh, and 35 cents. Okay. <laughs> so maybe eventually I will get better at doing my bank account information and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not doing great right now. Um, okay. So my account started with, you guys know how my budgets are. I'm, our, I'm always sporadic, so I'm sorry. So I was paid $4,844.71, and then I actually had left over $163.51, which is very rare. I've overdrafted my account every day last month or last year, except for December. And then I thought I was going, I thought that was a good sign, and I thought that I was going to do great things. And uh, here we are at the end of January and I had overdrafted my account about $180, which I guess is better. It's better than what I did. We generally do all last year. I was overdrafting it like five to $600. So I did a little bit better, but I'm still not happy about it. Let me grab my phone real quick. Okay. So before I got paid, I need to write down how much I was overdrafted, which like I said, it was like 188, I think. Well, it didn't save because now that I already got paid, it's already different. <laughs> so I'm going, I, I remember it was like negative 188. It was something like that. So this, okay, guys, I'm not sure if I'm vibing with this. <laughs> I am not sure if I am vibing with this um, plum paper budget book. Okay. So my spending balance was $1,625.95, but I ended up spending $3,934.35. This doesn't seem right. I'm really confused. Net gain. I, I don't know how to spill this, this uh, guys. 
If any of you know how to, how to help me fill this form out, please let me know. I'm really confused. I'm not sure. I Because I was not negative $200. That is not the case. So... I'm really confused. Okay, so we're just going to skip that. If any of you guys have any information you can share with me, I am all ears. Okay, so the goal, my number one goal is don't go freaking negative, you freaking bozo. Don't go negative. Fast food less than three times. And I'm going to be bold and I'm going to say no Amazon because that, that is where, or Christian books. <laughs> I'm going to put or CB, but that is Christian books. Hold me to it guys. Okay. So my income, I was paid from the VA. Hold on. I got to open my bank account again. I'm sorry. I'm normally so much more like prepared for this, but this is like this being the only the second month I'm doing this new budget book. I'm really confused. And also my son is awake. So like my brain is a little bit sporadic. <laughs> my two brain cells aren't working well together. Okay. My expected amount was $4,603. And $80, which that is actually a lie. That was how much I actually got after my overdraft payment went through. I actually got paid $4,677, but this was after the negative the negative, negative payment uh, pulled out. So $4,603.80. Um, checking start balance. Um, okay, let me go back to my, <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I'm going to cut like as much of this awkwardness as I can out. Let me go back to my bank account and see if I can get the exact number that I was negative. I don't know. I, it's not showing me. I should have wrote this stuff down before I got paid because once I get paid, it, it doesn't show me what my negative, my negativity stuff was anymore. Um, and then this time, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put my credit cards up here. So I have Navy Federal Credit Union. I have two cards. I pay 100 to one of them and 40 to the other. So it's 140 total. Then I have my Chase credit card, which is going to be $227.73. Um monthly debt reducer goals. Okay. Um, am I, am I only putting, okay, I, I'm really confused because last time I put everything down here and then I think this is for credit cards. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So then I have best buy credit card. I did a hundred. I feel like I'm doing this so incorrectly, but at the same time, I don't know. Okay. And then I have Amazon. <laughs> which was 50. We'll total that up in just a second, but let me go ahead and put these down here so I don't forget. My car is 650. Um my car insurance Geico is 16501. Uh, I put my Chase credit card up there. I put Best Buy, Navy Federal. Okay, and then I have Synchrony, which is also a credit card, but it didn't give me a space up there. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use this next year because this isn't giving me as much space as I need. Okay, Synchrony for the mattress I bought while I was pregnant was 113 And then are you guys ready for this? How much Klarna is going to be taking from me February for January's actions? Y'all guys aren't, y'all, y'all aren't ready. 1,000, thousand, I repeat, thousand. <sighs> Talk about a freaking mental breakdown I had. Golly, a thousand dollars, Destiny? Fudge sake. Okay. So we have 140 plus 227, 73 plus 100 plus 50 is going to be $517.73 there. Um, I have my son. He has a savings account that me and his daddy add to every single month. So I'm going to transfer 100, which is going to make the total like 500, I think, right now. 
I'm just gonna wait to put it because I don't know exactly. And then my personal savings account, um, I put 200 in, which is going to make that total 400 and some cents I'll add later for the interest. So that is going to be 300 that I will be saving this month. Hopefully by the end of the month, I will not go negative. I will not spend anything. Hopefully, please, Lord, strengthen me. Um, so if I don't, I plan to add whatever I do not spend at the end of every single month. I plan on splitting between my personal savings and my son's savings account. So you guys pray for me that I can be strong enough to do that. And then I will have 650, oops, 650 for my car plus 165.01 for my car insurance, 113 for my bed. <clears throat> $1,082 and freaking two cents because I'm a bozo is $2,010 with three cents. Okay, so we have my monthly income, which is $4,603.80. My savings debt payoff. What? What now? What are, what are we doing? Am I, I'm adding these? <laughs> uh, what? Savings and debt payoff. Saving, okay. Five, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's $817.73. I like putting this down here better because I'm confused now. Um, <laughs> fixed expenses is $2,010.03, which will give me a spending budget of... Nothing, girl, because you ain't spending your money, baby, because you're a freaking absolute wreck of a person, and you need to stop spending your money. Two thousand ten and three cents. Yes, baby. I see. Yeah, Mommy put all her books up there so I could film. Okay. So that will leave me with $1,776.04. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie, because last month... It's about the same. Okay. I'm not really sure. How is it the same? Is what I would like to know. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't have the joint bills, guys. <laughs> I was about to say, girl, we're rich. Okay, uh, just kidding. Uh, we have my joint bills to add on top of this real quick. <laughs> we thought, we absolutely freaking thought... Okay, go ahead and line those out. We're not rich, guys. Little did you know. Okay, the joint bills for my half was $1,479.17. Look at us. Not rich no more, beat. Okay, $650 plus $165.01 plus $113. Plus one freaking thousand eighty two zero two plus one thousand four hundred seventy nine seventeen cents. Whew. Look at that number jump three thousand four hundred and eighty nine twenty cents. Okay, <laughs> love to see it three thousand four hundred and eighty nine and twenty cents. Okay, four thousand six hundred and three and eighty cents minus. 817.73 minus holy cannoli 3489.20 and 20 cents look at us not being rich ah, okay spending budget is 296.87 your girl ain't buying a dang thing why because we can't afford it anyways Woo! okay guys so whew. Let me know if you guys are okay, first of all, with my son being awake. Um, there's not really much I can do about it. Any, you know, like I'm a single mom right now. But um, if you didn't um, like having him talk in the background, I guess, I don't know, let me know and I'll do my best to film only when he's sleeping. But this is going to make it easier for me so I can hopefully get some more stuff done while he is asleep. So if he allows for me to film while he's awake, it probably, you know, it would help me out. So hopefully you guys won't mind. Again, I don't know how to use this um, because I only get paid once a month. So it's not like my, my savings isn't something that I'm adding to each week. I literally do everything at the beginning of the month because I only get paid once a month. So... 
I don't even need this. Like, this is how much I'm saving this month. And then at the end of the month, we will see how much I have left over, which it's not going to be this amount because I will need to buy groceries again. So hopefully it'll at least be $200. And then I'll just put a hundred into each of our savings extra. I will go ahead and show you the monthly that I went ahead and filled out this month. So you guys can see what we have going on. So literally joint payment, joint bills. My half is right here. My personal bills is here. I'm adding to our savings accounts. Uh, Geico is here. And then literally the whole freaking calendar. <laughs> The whole freaking calendar is freaking Klarna payments. So that is a bit obnoxious if you ask me, but that is the budget. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys did better with your money this month than I did. Let me know any tips, tricks, ideas, if you have them on how to help somebody with uh, ADHD and severe depression. And um, so then I resort to impulse buying and retail therapy. So if you guys have any tips or ideas on how to combat that, please let me know. I would love to hear it. I would love to give it a go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Give it a like, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video. Save your money, kids. Bye.